hi everyone and welcome to my 10 minute lightning talk today i'm going to talk about what comes next and how do you keep momentum going after becoming devnet specialized so i'm hayley and i'm a product marketing manager at natillic i've been working there for over three years now alongside our internal devops team to create a go-to-market strategy bringing innovation to our clients so what we're going to cover really quickly i'm going to frame why we're asking this we're going to look at the Natilic journey so far, and then we're going to talk about the impact in regards to internal, external, and the future. And at the end, I'm going to round it off with a couple of little takeaways for you. Okay, so let me quickly talk you through the Natilic journey so far with DevNet. So back in 2018, there was a meeting of minds in a network automation meetup in London, where we came to like become friends with the DevNet team in the UK. In 2019, we decided to bring this to our clients. And we did that through holding DevNet Express events. These resonated really well. Our clients absolutely loved getting hands-on with the technology, making, breaking, all sorts of um, DevOps and automation with our team and the Cisco DevNet team too. When 2020 hit, we looked internally and we encouraged our teams to go away and study hard for the DevNet certifications. This, in turn, led to, at the start of 2021, becoming the first DevNet specialised partner in the UK. But what does this all mean? Why is this important? So I've broken the impact down into three areas. And first of all, let's talk about the impact that DevNet's had to Natilic. Probably the biggest impact to us as a business has been the, the evolution of the communities. And this has helped in regards to knowledge sharing, you know, bringing ideas to the forefront and actually being able to put in really strong development paths for our teams using the DevNet certifications. We've been able to build on innovation and by listening to our clients, bring innovation from internally to externally. One thing this has done as well, it's driven a real change in how we articulate ourselves. We did a complete overhaul of our go-to-market messaging and believe me, it was not an easy feat. We brought in two brand new pillars of our technology portfolio, which was DevOps and automation and cloud and hybrid cloud technology. We really felt that this is going to differentiate us as a partner and Cisco's portfolio in technology in the market. And when we talk about the market and externally, what is the main point that we're trying to make? We really want to make sure that we translate the value of this to the clients. And how do we do this? You've got to stay close to the clients. You've got to listen to them, listen to their challenges, what's keeping them up at night, where are they struggling, and making sure that we align what we've learned through DevNet and what we bring into the market with DevOps, automation, integrations, right to their door. It's also in parallel, listening to what the market's doing, making sure that we've got an eye on trends, emerging technologies, and also what is now moving more into the legacy space. With this in mind, we have to co-create and we have to bring innovation and innovative products to the, to the market and to our clients. And if the past 18 months has taught us anything, it's that being agile and having the right tech behind you really helps when industry and global challenges come out of nowhere. The final bit about externally and, and making sure that we translate value to our clients is having full visibility of the, the journey that our clients go on that's complete end to end. And how do we enhance these? Where are the crossroads where we interact with our clients and where can we show additional ROI and additional value by bringing our skill set and our DevNet skills to them? Now let's look a little bit forward. When we're looking at the future, we have to ask ourselves, what do we want DevNet to deliver and what do we want it to look like in the future? We are a community of over 600,000 people globally. You know, there is so much impact we can make. And what is one thing that we all want to do? We want to keep that competitive edge, whether that be it personally from being certified or whether that's bringing that competitive edge into our businesses, whether you're a partner or a reseller. And actually, in the end, translating that back to the client and making sure that they understand how they can use this new way of technology to keep their competitive edge in their industry. It's all about staying relevant. We all, know, we all know, we've all seen that technology moves at breakneck speed. In a blink of an eye, what was new is now old. And we can't always be on top of it. 
So by leveraging the massive community of DevNet, we can at least try and hear exactly what's going on and stay relevant within our industry. Watching partnerships evolve. Now, this is something really interesting. Over the past couple of years, we have seen that collaborative partnerships and expanding that ecosystem has been really important into how the changing face of technology and DevOps evolves. And lastly, building for the future and elevating recognition. When new entrants, graduates, you know, people who early on in their technology industry career are coming into the market, we want to make sure that they want to strive to be DevNet certified. They want to put it on their goals list. They want to aim for it and study hard for it. How do we make sure that we elevate the recognition of DevNet and the skills that it's prov it provides to make it that go-to, like thought leadership driven certification that everybody wants in their skill set. Okay, so I'm going to round off this session with a couple of things that we can do. The first one is to be creative and to create. Get involved with the sandboxes, the code exchange, collaborate with your DevNet professionals and your DevNet colleagues all across the world and make sure that you are contributing to this amazing community. Spread the word and share your experiences. Talk about how becoming DevNet certified has impacted you, has impacted your business and in turn your clients. You know, make sure that you are being active and that you get involved in the forums, you attend the events, you know, you leave comments for the DevNet Create team here. And also, even if it's down to just retweeting a tweet, make sure that you are spreading the word and being a true advocate for DevNet and everything we're trying to achieve. Thanks so much for listening.